why do you why do we decide to do that so that was the trigger to start this and then when i started looking into more in detail on of how our mind works or why do we decide and 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 in a way we regret it that's why we start the decision of making of a new year resolution so why don't we do it intuitively on on the fly so why do we wait for something so that's what it started off with but then it went into a little bit of deep uh, analysis of what our mind works and everything which i'm going to share so hopefully you guys have made a decision to attend this session right so that itself is a decision so hopefully i'll make sure that it's not a regrettable one and even if it's a regrettable one how to regret it the right way okay <laughs> so that's what it's about <laughs> so we'll quickly start with a exercise so just to understand because everybody knows that it's mind and everything but to just to get to know uh, we'll start with an exercise i request everyone to just close your eyes for a while everyone this is just a quick 2 minutes exercise okay and uh, so as i am speaking right now so your subconscious mind is already taking care of your breathing right now i want your active mind to concentrate on your breathing so breathe deep and then breathe it out okay just focus on how it's happening so now both when you do when the yogis and everybody do does this for a longer time so they have the control of over both the active mind and the subconscious mind so now i'm going to basically ask four questions to you guys so it's a yes or no question which you guys decide and keep it to yourself so over the course of this uh, ppt we'll go over this and decide so we'll get to know how your mind came up with that answers for those so the first question is uh, you are wearing a blue jeans today it's a yes or no okay so just think over how your mind is deciding that so you meaning you you yourself are wearing a blue jeans today second question 80% of the people in the room are wearing a blue jeans today so that's a question so how do you decide yes or no for that third question all the girls in the room are wearing a pink top or a shirt and the final one uh, don't open your eyes uh, it's a funny one so i have asked few people specifically person sitting next to you to make funny faces when you have closed your eyes and the other guy sitting next to you to take a picture so whether this is happening or not right now okay i think now you can open your eyes so there were four different topics given right and you guys decided on whether it was a yes or no and there were different things which were happening in your mind so we'll try to analyze what was actually happening and how did we our mind come up to decision so before that so let's think what is mind so what do you guys think is your mind <laughs> in a way yes it's one of the yeah decision making is part of the brain yes on the mind yes processor the cpu of the whole <laughs> system from our, uh, wow okay <laughs> pretty much close so actually mind is nothing but you yourself so the mind defines you and it's not like it's your mind it's you so what all constitutes a mind right it's basically the memory which we have built from our from what all we can recover to like from our very young age whatever it's like 3 year old 1 year old so the memories all our experiences or our emotions everything feelings then on top of that what we build is a consciousness so consciousness is more like okay if i do this this might happen if i touch it i might get burned so that part of insights of what it is what it could lead to so that is the consciousness part of it perception is okay i know it I, if i touch this it will happen but should i touch it or not so the perception of touching it or not that feeling so that comes from the perception part of it and also like if you are looking if you are stressed out so you know that i i might maybe go out for a walk and just stay on my own so the perception of knowing what to do so is that thinking comes when you are stuck at somewhere and now you want to find a solution for that so all that is also done by the mind and then the final thing is the judgment so this is where again the main outcome or decision making comes so if i do this i know i'll get burned or if i hit or hit to someone he might get hurt 
or if it is a friendly hit, he might not get hurt, but you expected it not to get hurt, but he might have got it hurt. So, that is the judgment part. So, what is your mind thinking of the outcome of your actions? And again, it reels back to, so based on that outcome, it comes back to the memory, okay, I did this, but this did not work out as I thought, okay, then from next time, I should not do this. So, this whole cycle, it goes on and it goes on ever until we die. So, that is how our consciousness is built and that is how our mind works, it is always evolving always learning, always perceptually thinking, putting judgments and everything. So, what is part of our mind? I think most of us know like we have the active mind and the subconscious mind. So, active mind what it does? So, active mind is actually like when I said, so the breathing was already going on, it, you guys did not realize, means you did not actively conceive or were concentrating on that, but it was happening already. So, that is done by the subconscious passive mind, but when you say now focus on that, so, your active mind becomes a stimuli to that, so feeler. So, active mind is always a feeler. So, even when like for example, if the lights go out right now, so it is the active mind saying, okay, light went out to the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind says, okay, light went out, but that is fine, the generator might come it back and then the active mind becomes quiet. So, it is always the stimuli, it is the responder or the receiver of the outside world messages and then passes it on to the subconscious mind. So, most of all what decisions we make, everything is driven primarily by subconscious mind. So, the memories which I told last time, the beliefs, patterns, associations, emotions, skills, everything. And in a way, so these two are primarily the diff, uh, main important factors of uh, our brain or our mind, because <coughs> people have tried building like supercomputers, uh, artificial intelligence, right. That is the one thing which they have not been able to crack. Like for example, a supercomputer can calculate so many calculations faster, faster than our mind, but it cannot think or analyze patterns or come up with different solution like what our mind does. So, that is the unique part of it which we are not able to understand how it is done. So, that is the very core of the subconscious mind. So, as I said, so the conscious mind acts as the receiver or after the action is deceived, the uh, what do you call more like the performer of the action and then the subconscious mind is the main driver. So, we think that we are in active mind, but it is always the subconscious mind which does the stuff for us. And uh, yeah. Yes. 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 Correct. Yeah. Dr. Watson, yes, yes. It does. So, that is what I said. So, both, so emotional pattern matching as well. So, like for feel, yes, that so they are doing. So, so, so they are doing. I am not saying so that, that is where we are still leading to, we are not yet achieved. So, Processing wise, we are far, far superior than what we as a human can do, right. So, that pattern, mat pattern matching is not just on, okay, if you see this, this is right, how the memory works. Like for example, like this, this is happening, right. So, in digital format, when you record it, it is like binary 0, 1, but your mind right now, how is it recording? It is not recording who is sitting next to you, who is sitting uh, beside this or what am I wearing, what are you are wearing, but it is still recording that certain parameters which is getting stored in your mind and when you want it to retrieve, you will be able to retrieve. And if this similar session happens somewhere, where you are not actually storing the entire content, but something similar. So, that pattern matching, which we do not know how it is done, but our mind does. Gesture thinking is not. Kind of synthesized, uh, uh, I mean, it is not analytical thinking, where you go fact yes. by fact, but uh, kind It's of more of, yeah. So, so that, that is what I think right now, most of us do not know like how is our mind actually storing that data or how is it able to retrieve that data. So, that is what I said is not done by the computers. The processing is done, the actual pattern matching is done, but how our mind does and how the computer does is different and that is where we are still superior than the computer. Any other questions? Yeah. yeah when you say mind, yeah. there is no question of what differentiates the mind from the brain, because the brain is just a neuron. Yeah. So, as he said, right, so mind is the kind of what you think as the software, so brain is just the hardware. So, but where is your 
So, it is the intellectual thing or more like the conscious as I said. So, the neurons which bubble up from your uh, when your child to on. So, it builds on. So, it builds on as a it is in itself an engine self learning, self deciding it is more. So, I think few of the next slides will also help you understand that. So, it is it is like very plain and as I said we yet now do not understand what it is. So, everybody is trying to still know what it is and the only thing what right now we can say is it is self evolving, it learns on its own. Uh, we have very little control over it as well as I will share next and uh, we yet do not know it completely, we are still understanding it more. Mind works through the movement of electrons through neurons, that is all we know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Between active and subconscious? Huh? Yes, yes, I know. Yeah. I think they all put together work together. Yes. Yeah. So, judgment what I meant was the expected outcome out of, out of what you are doing, right. Like for example, even the yogi knows that uh, I should not hurt an animal or something, right or for the, for the matter sadhu or something, but that is the judgment which they have reached by the perceptual thinking. So, they perceive what it is, they think what it is, they come to a judgment, okay I should not. Yeah, means so it is not stored. So, you, your mind is evolving that is what I said and that happens for every kind of topic or every kind of suggestions or anything. Maybe a few slides next more we will get and also we can talk again one on one. So, in a way so this is what uh, after few of the research what I have found is. So, your mind actually is like your heartbeat and the decision making actually you do not have any control over it you really do not have any control over it, but you can influence it. So, what I mean by influence it is, so your subconscious mind actually does the decision for you, but your active mind can not influence it. Like the example I told about the light going out right, it is the active mind which says okay, this happened, but then it is the subconscious mind saying okay, do not worry it will come back or if it was the other matter, if it is like there was a fire, the subconscious mind run now. So, that is how it is, but you as the person will not be able to control much of it. I will few examples also I will share why and how and next is you can never make a wrong decision and it is not like for the sake of saying it is like actually you can never make a wrong decision. So, let us take an example and it is always the mind decides what is the best option or from the influence which you are giving which it perceives is the best option. Like for example, uh, we hear about uh, uh, people working in Infosys and others and are kind of fed up of their work job, they want to try something right, but still they stick to that. Why do they stick to it? It is because maybe they, they want salary, they are maybe they are not completely into it. So, when I meant never makes a wrong decision, so even if it is like our mind works in a different way, it is not a binary 0 1. So, it it is more like next one, yeah, okay, this it is not 1 0 1. So, it is something like this. So, that is where also I said. Uh, fundamentally why our computers are different from us. So, by computers always store it as 0 and 1, but for us it is more like it can be from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 100. So, it is just like this is 0 that is 1 for computer, but for us as a human beings it is different. So, we can have any number within this to have a decision or for a, a parameter or a value for it. So, this is where the decision making comes. So, for example, that guy who is working in IT uh, in Infosys for example, even if he feels 50.01 percent saying okay I should stick, but his 49 percent says okay I should try something, the mind subconsciously it is saying okay you are going to stick for sure, unless that becomes this side. Is the final decision is 1 or 0 right? Final decision is 1 or 0 yes, but to understand to reach there. So, like for example, right now not much that is what yeah. Yeah. Yes. You had a question. Yeah. Is it 
Right. They actually had to, one of them had to leave the country, right, in order to kind of uh, conform to the uh, common law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now uh, you come back and made amendments to the same thing. Right. And got it turned back. Yeah. So uh, when you are saying a right and a wrong, mm. uh, is it really a right and a wrong, or is it a gray area? It can be right, it can be wrong, depending on the way you. So, so that is where the gray area comes. So. Subconsciously, where the gray area comes is there are so many patterns or associations which your mind already has built. So it feels okay. Your active mind is discussing that specific topic, but like your passive mind says, okay, Infosys is also not doing good right now as a shareholder. Maybe you would want him back, but that your active mind is not recognizing, but your subconscious mind is doing. So that is where it leading to 49.1 or 50.1, which your mind is actually doing when you are deciding on something, it is not just that one parameter which you are deciding on, but your subconscious mind is considering a lot of parameters, which we actively do not get to know. So, that is where I said. We are still doing zero because we are putting a line between 10 to 50. Yes. Those parameters are considered and then 50 and 50 more than 50. Yeah. So, why I put this number was because uh, in fuzzy logic, that is what as I said. So, it is not just 0 and 1 how computer does, for us it is like it can range from here, okay, I can be here, I can be here and it's, then it is a switch. So, for example, from here to here in, the, in a computer it is still one transition, right? For, but from here to here it is actually a change in decision for us. So, that is where our or the way of representing, so this is a crude way of what I have put, but that is where I, means what I was trying to intend to say is, so it is not just 0 or 1 how our mind works or actually how the the natural systems work. So, there it is always a range which works, but computer is always right now at least we have built it as 0 and 1, but if you are able to crack it to put it into a range and how that range can be mapped into decision making or for that matter computation, I think that is where we are closer to what nature has built us as, we will be able to build machines in that way. So, uh, so that, that example was here. So, so influence part also let me stay a, a little more. So, as I said, so you guys like we know heartbeat is like heart is just a muscle, right, but we cannot control it. Why do you think we cannot control it? Yeah, I think overall as a as a as a human which we have evolved, I think that is where I said the system is so very well thought out or very well evolved in itself that it knows that you as the, the kind of persons we are, we should not give like the control over a heart, like, 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 then like you would have seen so many heart, uh, like suicides happening or so many other things happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like one or like so many things. So, similarly that is where I said, maybe if we think deeply, we actually do not have control over our mind, but we can influence it. So, influence how does it happen? So, one is the active influence, which is like the active mind saying, then it is the perception or the uh, local influence of the environment which can pass it on to and then the subconscious mind make the influence. So, where that difference comes right, like for example, people like for example, you are uh, driving a car and uh, your subconscious minds know like if for example, if from now here if you are going back home. So, you your subconscious mind know which is the route to take right. So, you are taking the road, you are driving your car. So, by sudden a, a car another car comes. So, then that is when the active mind says okay, there is something. So, I should at least I should not be going straight, take a left and then go, means just on the path. So, that is where the active mind comes in. So, take the similar example if you are reading. So, when if you are reading for your exam or reading something and the, somebody plays a music. So, your active mind says okay, now there is a music, so I might get disturbed. And then your subconscious mind can say okay, you, I can get disturbed or not. So, if you are able to differentiate that okay, what how or if you are able to control how much of your influence your active mind puts on your subconscious mind, so that is when you are more in control or that is what the sadhus and yogis do, because they are able to truly differentiate active mind and keep it separately from the subconscious mind. And that is where they sit for days together or even for other people who just sit and do, because they do not let the active mind give any kind of influence over it, they kind of shield it. So, that is where I said you do not have control over it. So, if you can make it as a feeler, but if you can control over it and say the active mind part and say okay, you do not allow it to influence any of thing, then you are in true control of your mind. Influence, shielding influence from the 
active <laughs> mind to subconscious mind. Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. Otherwise, we would have all done it. So it comes by. I think pure practice and dedication. Yeah. And I think it's doable. Like in case, like for example, if something is very interesting to you, that music really doesn't matter to you. It's where like you are also trying to put it together, like trying to study for exam. I think usually during exam. But if you are reading a really good novel, that music doesn't affect you much. <laughs> so this, okay. So coming back to the exercise which we did, right? So typically we can categorize decision making into these five topics. The first is instant knowing. Like for example, I said you are wearing blue jeans. Is, was there anyone who had a doubt whether you are yes or no for that? No, right? You know what you are wearing. So, it is yes or no. So, next is multiple choice. Multiple choice is when you actually do not know what it is, then you have okay, I can choose. Like for example, what which uh, what is your, uh, what would be your uh, next person's favorite color, blue or green. So, then you have two choices and then you have to choose okay, maybe he is wearing blue, I will go with blue. So, then you are using multiple choices with association and say okay, this is a and this is just an example. So, that is what we do for others also. So, if you are choosing to buy a car, so it is not instantly I go and buy Maruti, right? You compare Maruti with uh, uh, like a Mahindra or something and then choose. So, that is multiple choice. Then the, the, so that is quick analysis, like for, okay, maybe I should put this. So, you have gone to Maruti and then you want to choose a wagon or a Swift. So, that is choice. Conscious analysis, okay, which brand do I have to choose? So, that is more in detail. So, you okay, now do a detailed analysis of this, this, this and then ambiguous is you kind of not sure what. So, this is like uh, that 50 percent what I told, it is called uh, decision pa paralysis. So, you are not sure whether to do that or to do this and you kind of hang in there. So, it is actually not decision, you are just hanging in there to get more feeder. And this is like ignorance or apathy, you just make random decision. Like for example, uh, after a long day of work, you just go home and throw the key on the cable, right. So, your mind is actually taking that. So, that is an apathy decision which your mind took, I can throw it right now or sh show my through like this. So, it is actually a decision which your mind did. It is not like it is randomly happening. Watching movie the night before yeah. <laughs> so, that is where you totally have an apathy to whatever is there. So, I will just go ahead and do what I want. Then there is automatic decision making. That is the instant one. So, you like you know. So, so, you know the decision already, like you, you say okay, we are looking to do this or you have to do this, you know I know this, okay. Like this. So, so let us come back to the question. So, how many, so the first one was this one, right. So, everybody knew that. Uh, so, 80 percent of blue jeans. So, this for second question, how many of you got, like what was the, yes? yes? Yeah. So, what was happening there? Yeah. So, what was happening there was you knew the genes is blue. So, that is the association your mind has already and then mostly 80 percent would be yes and uh, they said okay, I choose yes. So, that is the analysis of how the pattern recognition which I was telling for means that is nowhere means it can be built, but how our mind perceives. So, it already knows the association and pattern. Yeah, means I would definitely. So, there the rating which I had given almost I think most of you would have got a 90, 95 percent for that saying yes, it is 80 percent, it should be true. So, the second one, so all girls are wearing pig. So, there is the opposite, maybe like few of them may be yes. So, how many of you got yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So, so here, so here if you see, it is not just pattern recognition, your active mind was giving a feeder to that. So, saying no, I think I saw somebody or somebody like that. And then it says okay, and this time the decision was this side saying okay, only 10 percent might be true, so I will just go with no. And this one, person sitting next to. So, <laughs> huh? you did that, but what about others? So, everybody went for no? Because I specifically said I have told few people, right? So, I, so that is where I wanted to show about the ambiguous part. So, you do not know, you need more data to decide. So, few of you chose yes, few of you chose no. Yeah. So, in this four questions, did any of you regret anything? No, right. So, when does regret actually come? When you get the outcome and you realize it is not going to be Yes. When you feel guilty. Yes. So, two actual words which I was looking for. 
So, when the expectation does not meet the outcome and outcome changes the context. So, the context is I will explain. So, what is the change in context because of the change in outcome? So, let us take this example for like the last exercise which will help us decide. So, you know the normal uh, this is the water tap right. So, the red is red, the, the blue is the cold water, red is the hot water. Assume this where the sticker is not there ok. And so, now how we go about it. So, you are uh, traveling somewhere, you check into a after a long days of work you check into an inn and uh, you want to have a shower right now. So, after checking in you just go to the shower. The, uh, so, let us do the scenarios first. So, as usual the marker is there, you go you uh, pull it towards uh, you wanted to have a hot water bath. So, you pull it towards uh, red, the hot water comes fine. If the hot water does not come, you took a decision to do because you, your mind knew that red is hot, blue is due, I just pull towards red, the hot water came fine, but if it does not come. Do you regret it? No, you do not regret it, you just turn it towards this or you will time that also and if it does not come then you say it is the innkeeper's problem, maybe you will give him a call. So, you do not actually regret it for just deciding on that. So, let us say the other part where the indicator is not there. So, the first one was indicator was there, but it was the, it could have been hot water, hot water came in red or the hot water did not come in red, but you do not regret anywhere. So, the indicator it is not there. So, then usual, so by typically analysis we know left is hot. So, you do that, if it does not come you push it this again, you will get it. So, then let us do the other one, there is a wrong indicator. So, in the first two choices you usually do not regret at all. In the second one, so you, here your mind says okay, your active mind is saying okay, I do not know this situation. Otherwise, your back up, uh, subconscious mind would have pulled left. So, now the active mind is giving a very little feeler saying I do not know what it is, what the situation is and then the active mind, subconscious mind left is left. So, pull it left. So, wrong, if there is a wrong then, so since the indicator was not there and your mind thought left is hot and if it comes it is good. If it does not come, there is a slight kind of guilt saying okay, I should have actually pulled, which your mind is recognizing that maybe you or subconscious mind does recognize that. Then there is the wrong indicator. Uh, we did this, right? Yeah, as usual, wrong indicator and no indicator at all is what we did. I think I missed it. Yeah, and then there is one more situation where uh, innkeeper wants that. So we have certain kind of plumbing program. So and there is no sticker also. So whatever you choose, there is no sticker also. So whatever you choose, it will be hot water for throughout your your stay or the cold water throughout your stay. So, now your mind is kind of in a dilemma ok, because it is not just, so in, in any of these three you are actually the outcome was different, but there is no change in context. Change in context means you will get a hot water for sure, if not this way that way, but here it says it is going to change. So, now your sub active mind becomes more say ok, what how, how should I or what should I do now. And then again subconscious mind says ok, the tries to analyze the problem. So, the first these three usually you will do it between the first and two type of decision making. For this you will do bit of analysis or sometimes like if you are too ambiguous you might actually not take bath, just go sleep or uh, you <laughs> might do a conscious analysis and say ok, let us give it a try. So, left and in case the hot water comes good, if it does not come you will scold the innkeeper and say ok, this my, my night is screwed, but still continue with it, but there is a regret here. In the first three there was no regret. So, why is the regret here? because the outcome was not expected and also there is change in context because now you cannot get it. So, it is done. So, let us say this, so this is guilt is there right, but you are not so upset. So, let us do that, put a computation to that. So, so saying ok, 5 of you checked in, so who whoever gets the hot water first, so there is no indicator again. So, all parameters are same. So, only thing is now you have 5 people checking in, whoever gets hot water first and that who gets about a bucket full of hot water will get some. So, when so here not just the <coughs> outcome change, here the context also changes. Now, you are feeling more guilty in case if you do not get it. So, how like simple task when you change the parameters and context becomes a regret. So, that and this happens for most of it, but we do not and like or we actively do not recognize it. Any questions still here? No, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So, as I said, the okay, let me emphasize on that why you cannot make wrong decision, right. Uh, did, uh, any of you have any questions till now on why you cannot make a wrong decision? So, when you are saying wrong decision, it is not morally, it is based on what data you have. I am not even morally, I am thinking, I am saying why your mind decided to do that. It is because, as I said, that the majority part of your mind or the yeah, majority part, I think that is the correct counter, is saying okay, that is the right thing to do. Like, for example, uh, you, um, what can I give you an example as? I think one was the the employee in the company itself. Apart from that, for example, uh, yeah. So and yeah. So you you are okay. This one. So like for example. Uh, uh, we know that people like uh, at least there is a rule saying you have to wear a helmet, right? This is for a two-wheeler guys. But still, people don't wear it. Like the few of them who do not wear it, why? Because the 51 percent of them, it's like it's okay. It means even worst case, there is a death, but the chances of that is very rare. So that's where his decision, the uh, that this part comes so to the decision making part comes. To, okay, it's okay, 51. So th that's why he doesn't do. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So coming to that, so it's so that's where I said his subconscious mind as well as active mind has been built. It's not that at that moment he is doing. That's when I said when you are actually doing an event and deciding, it's not just that active parameters you are considering for decision making. It's your entire life's learning which comes, which your subconscious mind is doing. Like for example, the let's take the uh, terrorist attack on Mumbai, right? So when they were doing they never or they might have felt 49 percent it is wrong, but 51 percent they felt what they were doing it was right. And why that 51 percent built was the learning they had before. And it is like, so that part, so if even if it, if we are able to switch, change it to 49, they, it would not have happened. And at that decision making or when that actual ha uh, thing is happening, so it is not just that one parameter whether that is right or wrong, it is the context of how he reached there. How his mind has been built, yeah. So, you are saying it is designed with respect to my mind. Yes, and that is why you always do it. So, you you can never do what you, are, what you do not want to do. So, as I said, it is your subconscious mind, but you can influence it. So, if so, the, at the end of it, that is what like being disciplined, being that it you kind of influence your mind to become more active. You, you in a way you try to gain control over it. But if you act randomly, it controls its own way based on what it analyzes, what it perceives. Yeah. Thing to add there. So, experience is that for teachers, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you learn over a period of time. Correct. Like if you touch something hot, you know your hand will burn. Right. You will not do it again because you learn from your experience. So, intuitively, your mind says, yeah, go and touch it for the first time. Correct. But you know the repercussions of that at the second, second time. time. So, perhaps training is a way to improve your decision making. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, that would be wrong decision. That's Which one? Thing. No. So, okay, let us take that. Know. So, your mind, so when you do, when you did not know that is a hot thing, like the first time you touched a hot thing, your mind was curious, let me touch. So, your <laughs> active mind was, the subconscious mind was wanted to touch. Yeah. And the second time you know, your active mind, even if your active mind wants to touch, subconscious mind is no, no, no. <laughs> So all so that's where I said you can actually not do what you don't want to do. But the thing is, when yeah. you told about friends calling me for a movie on the next day when I have exam, I go with them. Yes. Even this, when my friend tells me, she also say, hey, it's not hot yet. You should touch it quickly. Then yeah. So the first example, right? It's the no, friend. It's not the first time no, no. I'm saying so. The friend, when you said your mind knows, okay, means I. Like uh, there was one more session where he said, actually, if you see the engineering students or most of them, they study one night before. So, and means even if I come after the movie, I can finish it off. Means that confidence is there. That is what makes him to go. If he is really scared, he will not go. Like for example, you know for sure if you touch it will go. But there is that slight over confidence thing, I can manage it, which make them go. Yeah. Impulsive is the instant one. Impulsive is uh, subconscious mind. Yes. Suicide is subconscious mind. So, as I said, decision finally comes from the subconscious mind for sure. 
you can influence it through active mind. Which one? Yeah, means at the for it to happen, yes. Like for example, uh, take a like a student who is really failing every time, every time. So it's built over time. So he says, okay, now I think I'm not doing good. I'm not good. So when he breaks that 51 point, he'll say, come. Take the other scenario where uh, husband really loving husband and wife. The wife dies. The husband dies. So here there is no 49 percent. She knows I want to die. So 90 percent done. So or 99 percent. So it is just that will you be able to cross over for to make that decision whether it is suicide or for anything else. So basically according to mind we are never, never taking a wrong decision. Yeah, because, because if you analyze deeply actually you, you means your mind is saying actually I know um, this is what you wanted. So this is where I said, so when you uh, said like why it cannot take wrong decision, but like for example, if after all this if you guys think this was a wrong uh, session to attend, so what were the parameters? Maybe you should have done a more check on me, whether I was qualified to do that. So those were the parameters. So when you first thought, your mind thought, okay, this session looks good, let me attend, right? So that's all. So now if in case if there is a regret, so what what is the learning from it? It is not that you chose a wrong decision, you never made a wrong decision, your mind actually wanted to attend. So next time it is not like okay I see this person and do, but it is like okay what I should actually do, like okay maybe I should check his background or maybe I should check uh, like for example there might be a time clash. So right now you are regretting maybe you should have been in other place but you are here. So those parameters, so there are a lot of context which is there, which we miss and that is when we miss this context is when the decision making is right, but the outcomes changes because we did not consider these parameters. And we always think, okay, we made a wrong decision, but you actually did not make a wrong decision. You actually did not consider all the parameters which can influence the outcome of it. Yeah. So that's it. Anything else? Yeah. I was just curious, like uh, as he has seen Inception, huh. are there people out there who can really control their dreams? Control the dreams. Uh, Few, few of them can, I think. It's, so it's your own Are dream, right? So th that's the fine gap between. So the dreams are done by the subconscious mind. Yeah. There's a whole field called lucid dreaming. Yeah. Influencing. Yeah. We can. We we always influence a subconscious mind. If you are able to control it, when to influence and when not to influence is when you are in control of your mind. So it's always influencing, and subconscious mind is always influencing back for it to do action. Controlling is difficult. Influencing is easy. influence by default. It's there. Influence is there. Stopping so the yeah, is, is the challenge. So if you are able to stop that or shield, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, shielding the subconscious mind from the active mind. I think you had one question. Oh no. So, uh, so I haven't gone through an experience like that, but I would. <laughs> what, no, I'm saying. So, what I'm saying, what I'm saying might be wrong, but what I perceive is. So, it's not the whole life comes through. It's like you, for sure, you are gonna, you know that you are dying, right? So, it's kind of you, the quick way of mind saying, okay, what you're gonna miss is what you did all this way. It's a very quick snapshot of saying, okay, this is what happened in your life. Or, Yeah. So this completely slowed down 
whatever was happening in front of me, it was like I was I, it was like for two seconds I felt like an hour. I could just see my life like yeah. going up and how how beautiful this place was and like yeah. I was like about to leave it in like two seconds. Yes. I somehow recovered like it was a big, big magic or a miracle, whatever you might want to call it. Yeah. But yes, it does happen. But I don't know if it ha- if it happens that I might I might get the best solution out of it or anything mm. happens. I'm still having tremors thinking about it. Think of that particular the situation. It might not be the it might not be the point that I'm I have to get the best out of the the uh, the like the influences I had in my life. But the point is when you are about to leave this yeah, it's uh, done. place called Earth, you really feel that. And this whole thing flashes right in front of you. And you feel that okay, I'm leaving. So it's not the memory or something. It's like your your mind will be able to see. Okay, this might be the last. Means I am done. So what it does, it quickly kind of runs through the main important points only, not all the things. So whatever your mind thinks was the the good part of your whole life, it's just like flashes. Either good or either bad. Because these are the bookmark bookmark by the mind. Yes, and yeah. You usually, so what? What are the highlights? Are? Yeah, and usually since it's the death, and we have been brought into thinking it's the good part, so it's always the good ones. I think yeah, I think that was the last slide. Huh? 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 As I say, explain to us. So two scenarios I gave, right? One is a. Continuous decision where he reaches to a decision and breaks on that 49, 50 part, and there is like sudden, like instant thing where she is like totally lost and she wants to die. So one more thing, sir. There's something, something big happens in your life huh. that changes your thinking dramatically. Think right. Huh. Yeah. So what is the question in there? Changing something, trauma, this trauma or something, something good gets, uh, somebody gets kidnapped or something. Hmm. It's a big thing. Yeah, right. Probably they change their thinking or something like about safety and all. Hmm. So, how, uh, how does this change? I think a better example is getting married. <laughs> 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 so, trauma for marriage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trauma for marriage. Right, yeah. So, think, uh, it's, when you're comparing it, it's suicide. <laughs> So, so how, so in terms of, so that's where the me- memory part comes and the analysis and the building of the pattern comes, right? So when something new happens to you, always the mind works is okay. Where, what is this, and how can I associate with my current knowledge? So if it's not able to associate, it just says okay, this is something new. I'll process it later. Just dump it right now, and then it tries to build around it. When, when then later it sees okay, something similar. Okay, I know this happened. This happened. Now I can correlate these two. And then it builds on that. That's how the knowledge builds. So anything which you first time knew, because you know, you can kind of always remember the first time once, right? It's because the mind was not able to like quickly, okay, analyze, okay, I know what this is and let's move on. It says, okay, I don't know what it is. Let's park it aside, but continue. And that's where the f- we usually remember the first ones, because it's that it, it has a special memory, which it will get eradicated or overwritten over later, but it has a strong feeling for that. Or more strong essence for that. So that's where even be it, it could be a trauma or it could be a very joyful your first case or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, I have heard about out of body experiences where okay. uh, sadhus actually uh, control their mind to go out of the body okay. or uh, yeah. people in coma and uh, uh, watch themselves. Hmm. So I have no information on that. So yeah. I think what I was trying to share is like this is what like I'm not an expert, right? This is what just thinking over what we actually happens in our mind. Like most of you by this session, I think you also know now. Like it's not just like you have, you might have not actually thought about it, but it's actually happening to you. And it's not like so when we go much deeper in it, when we'll get to know if that exists and if it exists, what it is. Thank you.
that context yes so i am but like there might yeah. that one. yeah so that's where now it's more evolved into more like personal or one on one teaching because it's not like everybody is same right should i give yeah. you this thing yeah, like moocs massive online open source courses like sanford does this course sanford professor teach Like Coursera, everything, but uh, completion rate is seven percent. But actual students going to Stanford, they excel, right? Because they are good enough to go to Stanford. Not watching videos will not improve you. So you inherently should have it in you to, you know, accept this. That's why the broadcasting doesn't work in especially advanced computing. That uh, I, I train on advanced computing. Right? Uh, that's one of the things I want to make a comment.